blasted hope. From the title itself, we could already generate an idea of a vanishing hope. With this, I could even imagine hardly forming a ball of hope, but only getting blasted in the end. As we go through the poem, we could perceive that the persona has this gloomy or sad feeling which is caused by a love that's too far to reach. Sona believes that he, she doesn't have a chance which made him her lost hope of being regretted and finally give up confessing without even trying to reach out to express his her feelings. With this, we could already think that the persona in the poem has no self-confidence and someone who already thinks negative outcomes without even trying it first. The poem has this hopeless and pessimistic tone. Hopeless because that is how the persona feels in the poem, but having the pessimistic side, being accentuated to the words being used such as dim, never, powerless, and spring. Blasted hopes symbolize the unrequited love of a person, shows how we are used to these feelings and how a normal person react on this kind of love. For some of us, we might find it difficult because it intends to hurt us in conspicuous and yet we accept the situation for some reason. Number one is the fear of rejection and number two is the fear of abandonment. But despite of these reasons, we find it exciting and interesting because it gives us um, unforgettable moments once we have a romantic excitement. The real life lesson of Placid Hope depends on the readers. Even if I pre because even if I perceive it as a lovely and beautiful love story, still some might find it uh, disturbing in the real context because it could possibly turn into obs obsession of a person. If I would have a chance to talk to the narrator, I would like to commend her for creating a such beautiful poem. It actually inspires others to create poems with emotions being attached to it. So blessed hope. It shows that it feels good when you find out that the person that you love has the same feelings as you. But then, not all the time, you used to have that kind of situation. We may encounter different challenges that will test our love for each other. So, unrequited love is a great explanation for this book. Because it's all about a man who adores women so much, but the woman doesn't feel the same way to him. So, it's hard for the man to accept that. That's why he's experiencing too much pain. We can deny that we are not related to this certain situation because it still happened now in our generation. Well, it's hard to accept that in the first place but then as the time passed by, we can clearly understand that we must not force other people to love us back. He's afraid to tell his feelings because he knows that it will only lead to rejection. That's why better not to tell it but then sometimes you need to take a risk. What if she can give back the love that you need, but not now, but in the right time maybe? We know that hindi na tuturuan ang puso, but just show that you're always there with him. Maybe in the end, she will learn to love you back. If I was given a chance to talk to the author of the poem, I would like to say that the poem gives us so much meaning, mostly in selfless symbolism. For example, the tongue remains powerless and the suffering and pain. We remain powerless sometimes because we are afraid to know the possible result. That's why we are the one who are enduring the pain. In love, there are times that you need to sacrifice yourself for their happiness. Then lastly, the importance of the poem is that it teaches us how to be a brave person. Even though we experience a lot of pain, we still need to stand up and accept what is done. I myself can truly relate in this poem because it is unrequited. It talks about unrequited love and then hopelessness, also one-sided love. When it comes to love, um, sometimes we are attracted to someone who doesn't feel the same way the way we feel and we want that to be reciprocated by them. So we have this pain wherein we wish to the person na sana magustuhan niya din ako or sana kami na lang. But hindi naman lahat ng love story is about doon. Um, we should know that not all love story 
ends with happy endings so we all know that not all our loved ones can feel the same way as we feel so we want that na ma-reciprocate naman yung feelings na meron tayo I love this poem kasi parang pinapakita niya dito na kung gaano ka vulnerable yung tao na nagkakaroon ng feeling na ng feeling na tong love which is specifically one-sided love um, we can't force ourselves to that to that person na gusto natin kasi mas lalo lang tayo nilang lalayuan so in that case I guess we should be happy for them kung saan sila masaya we should support na lang kasi nga that's what they want and then if we truly love them we should let them go if we try to, like, to push ourselves into that person um, I think we will not be truly happy kasi hindi niya naman, hindi niya naman tayo gusto um, he don't want us the best thing that we should do is to um, move on, move forward so um, little by little matatanggap din natin na um, hindi, hindi tayo para sa kanila um, I just want to tell to the person who is talking in the poem that um, if you're tired of waiting for that someone to love you back um, please take a little rest please don't make yourself suffer try to move on now, I know that your heart is brave you are strong as a person but take a little rest para when the time comes na makikita mo na yung taong para sa'yo, buo ka na. Buo ka na. You're a new person for her. And then also, um, you can give the enough love na deserve niyang ma ma matanggap from you. At the same time, she can give also yung right love na dapat niyang ibigay para sa'yo at na deserve mo din. So, for me, this experience dapat hindi mo to tinitignan as a worst experience. Instead, um, we should see this a turning point sa buhay natin na natuto tayo about love. It can be a learning experience sa atin na we are capable of loving pala kahit na yung person na yun, he don't love you back. That's it. Thank you.